What is up guys, Maoni here from MaoGT back again with another video and before I get into everything that I want to say, I just wanted to tell you guys Happy New Year, um, Merry belated Christmas I guess. As you can see we still got our Christmas tree up over there, uh, we need to take that down. But um, I apologize for not making any videos for the new year so far, this will be the first. Um, I've got some exciting stuff coming your way but I've also got a little bit of bad news, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way um, first. I talked about this on Twitter just a little bit, but um, my iPhone XS video probably won't be dropping. Um, I'll make a video on whatever iPhone comes out this year, hopefully, if I can get my hands on it somehow. But this uh, the XS, it's just not going to be happening. Um, I've been having issues with my computer as I speak. It just shut off right now while it is plugged in. Um, so I've been having issues with my computer. I've been having issues with the footage, um, editing videos isn't particularly easy for me right now. Um, so 10s video will not be happening anymore. Um, but I do have another pretty exciting thing going on. Uh, this is the Essential phone, which I got um, almost, I've had the phone for almost a week now. And uh, I've shared some of my experiences with the phone on Twitter. Um, long story short, I love it right now. Um, in a couple more weeks, I will make a video on it just to let you guys know what my experience with the Essential Phone is. Um, but uh, the main reason why I made this video is to not only update you guys, but uh, talk about the Anchor SoundBud Slim. So I made a video on those um, a while ago. I did a quick review on them, talked about you know how like I use them and what they're like, what they sound like, battery life, all that good stuff. <laughs> Um, recently my pair of sound buds broke, uh, so I had them charging, um, there's like a little center console part in, uh, in our couch over there, and so I had them charging in there, and I pulled them out one morning, put them in my ears, and turned them on, and discovered that the left one had stopped working, um, so I sent Anchor an email, I submitted, like, their online warranty, request thing, and uh, they were super quick to respond to me, which I'm really happy about, um, and they sent me a brand new pair of sound buds, like not just the earphones, they sent me a brand new pair like of everything, so I got a new carrying pouch, new everything, and I still have the old pair, um, I'm probably just going to throw this away, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, since you guys never got to see the unboxing process for it, and then go reiterate um, my experience with the sound buds, kind of come back after using them for a much longer period of time and tell you guys what I think about them. Um, so this is just going to be a rough little uh, unboxing type thing. So if we switch over here, we have got the Anchor SoundBud Slim. So it tells you total hold with the little hooks that uh, go in your ear. Seven hours of battery life, which I have gotten longer, and we'll talk about that later. And they are water resistant, IP67, I believe. And then on the back, we're just going to cover that up. Um, but on the back, you can see it says 18-month warranty, which I'm super happy about. We've got the model number there, made in China, their support number, support email, and their website. We hope you never have the need, but if you do, our service is friendly and hassle-free. Certainly friendly and hassle-free. Super happy about that. So, um, opening up the box, it's kind of split into, it's kind of like this tray thing, and it's split into two parts. So... If you go ahead and pull this out, I think you can pull it out. Let me set you guys down here. I believe you can pull it out. You should be able to. Let's go and pull it out here. Um, I didn't pull the whole thing out when I first got them. But with a little bit of force and effort, there we go. So you pull it out and you get this like little tray type thing and inside it are the pouch which I think the earbuds are inside the pouch we've got some other stuff so we'll leave the earbuds for last so let's go ahead and just dump everything out uh, okay so that's all that's in there um, so you get a micro USB cable which is cool because the one that came with my first pair is also damaged so I have another micro USB cable even though pretty much everything I use now is USB-C except for these earbuds you get a um, like a survey card type thing, I guess. What does this say? Um, it's like review and then support information in there. You've got your usual books, manuals, tells you the controls, 
how to charge, all that good stuff. And then in here, we've got the spare ear hooks, which are super useful. These have never fallen out of my ears. You've got spare ear tips, which are super comfortable. And then you've got the, uh, the little hook and um, there should be another thing in here, which I find really useful. It helps keep the cable from slipping. Let's go ahead and open this because this is the one thing that I am really going to use. Okay. Yeah, so you get this little, uh, you get this, which the, the cable just threads through to keep it from sliding. And then you get a little clip to clip to the back of your shirt or whatever you're wearing. And then you've got the earbuds. So they come in this really nice soft touch pouch. Um, let's go ahead and take these out of here. And they, they have them wrapped up so nicely in this case. I'm going to make sure I take care of these because my case is damaged um, as well. Look at that. These look better than my first pair, honestly. They look way better than my first pair. Like, these actually, maybe it's because my first pair are like used, but these look so much better than my first pair. Like the tips seem softer. They're like the the texture of of the of the carrying pouch. I don't know if that detail comes across in the camera, but the tips look a lot softer. Um, I remember I was complaining that this was a little too big. I took apart the control on my old ones. I think the battery is integrated in the earbuds themselves, which is why um, these are so big as compared to this. Um, so while I do wish it could be smaller, I think it's really impressive that they were able to fit the batteries in the earbuds themselves, and I now understand that. Um, also, another thing, the flap for the micro USB port here, that was not closing well on my other pair. I actually had to cut it down to get it to fit in there. Um, but this looks like it's actually closing well. Um, and then there's the control. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off of the magnetic part. As you can see, these magnetically clip on, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. There we go. And then there's also a little sticker on here, which I think... Yeah, so there's just a little sticker on here. It says, Soundbud Slim Anchor Technology. Uh, gives us a little bit of information about the earbuds. We are obviously going to take that off. Uh, let's see here. I'm not even going to charge them, dude. Speaking of charging, so these, I guess they charge fairly quickly. Um, I've never really needed to worry about the charging speed or, like, charging the earbuds. Um, but I guess they charge fairly quickly. I'm able to get decent, amount of, decent amounts of charge in small amounts of time. Charging speed for wireless earphones has never really been a complaint or gripe of mine. Um, but in terms of battery life, battery life is definitely something that I complain about with wireless earphones. I used to get, like, the, the cheap ones from, like, Walgreens or, um, Walgreens or Ross, but these last a really long time. So the battery in these lasts, so you get a claim, it claims that you can use them for about seven hours at around 60% volume. Um, I have been able to get maybe eight to nine hours out of these earbuds at maybe even varying volumes, higher volumes. Um, these are really great earbuds for battery life. Um, now my old pair, they, the battery life started deteriorating, which I was really upset about um, because they used to last all day and then I could use them for a whole nother day, like two days of use without having to charge them once. But with my old pair, now I find myself sometimes having to charge them in the middle of the day, which is not good for me um, because I don't get very many chances to do that. So hopefully with this new pair, I mean, things, things seem to be fit and finished a little bit better. Um, so hopefully with this new pair, I'll have consistent battery life. Um, I'm going on a road trip soon to Atlanta, so I'll test them out on that road trip and report back to you guys, let you know how everything went. Um, but so far, these are looking more promising than my first pair. Um, so why don't we go ahead and pair them up to my brand new Essential phone. So this will be the first you guys are seeing, besides that little snippet in the beginning. This will be the first you guys are seeing of the Essential phone, or my Essential phone. Um, 
I don't want you guys to see too much, though it's probably nothing new you haven't seen. So there it is in all of its essential glory. I don't know if I should turn the brightness up or turn it down. Maybe up is too much. We'll see. That looks okay. Alright, so as I talked about in the first video I did on the sound buds, all you have to do is, we're going to bring it over here into the light, you hold down the middle button, it'll play a little tone in your ears, the button will start flashing, and so if we go over here to pair new device, so as you can see that light is flashing there, it should pop up as sound bud slim in just a moment. That's not it. They do take a while to come up on the pairing menu, at least on my phones, but once they pop up, we just tap and hit SoundBud Slim. It says pairing, and now that light has gone solid. So they're obviously not fully charged, so it says active on 80% battery. So we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on. So just as a quick review of the controls, um, so we have play in the middle. Now you can, I believe you can press that to answer calls and press that to reject calls. You have your volume up and down buttons, so you tap it once to lower the volume obviously, press it up to increase the volume. Now uh, on my HTC 10 when I was running a custom ROM, when I pressed the volume buttons it actually increased the volume of the phone itself, but that doesn't appear to be working here. So it's going to increase or decrease the volume on the headphones. Um, but depending on what type of phone you're using, um, I think iPhones, it, it, it'll also adjust the volume of the phone itself, not the internal volume of the earbuds. You can hold the volume up button to skip forward a song, hold volume down to skip back a song, and if I hold this for a short amount of time and let go on my phone, it triggers the Google Assistant. I'm just going to exit out of that. So let's go ahead and play some music. And see how these fit. I'm definitely going to charge them after this because I might not even charge them. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. They are super light, very, very comfortable. Um, as you can see, they just hang down here around the neck. You've got the control on the right side, right by the mouth. And then when you put them up here in your ears, you can see you've got a super snug fit there. See if I can zoom in on that. You've got a super snug fit. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But you've got a really snug fit. These are not coming out. They haven't come out of my ears at all. Um, and then the microphone and controls are right by your mouth. Um, so you can do uh, phone calls. These also have really good noise isolation. So um, I can, obviously I can hear my voice. But uh, when other people are around me or when they're talking or like I'm walking through the hallways at school, I can't really hear much and that's, um, that's an advantage for me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up Spotify here um, and let's play, what shall we play? We'll play something from A Boogie's new album. So that's loud. Okay, so obviously both of these are working, um, which was my issue with the other ones. Um, so if we go ahead and go over to the phone screen here, and we tap here, all right, so the song's playing. So if I press the middle button, just like before, pauses the song, press the middle button again, plays the song. If we hold the volume up button, skips the song, volume down, it'll restart the song, or it'll just go back to this. Um, and then if I hold the play button for a short amount of time, it triggers the Google Assistant, which does not appear to be responding to my voice. But what time is it in? OK, so for whatever reason, it's not responding to my voice. Um, I think there's a setting somewhere I have to change. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much everything that I showed you guys in the last video. Let me zoom out here. Whoa. It's pretty much everything that I showed you guys in the last video on the sound buds. Um, just a couple of quick notes to make um, on like my experiences. 
So, like I said, battery life is really good, but it seems to deteriorate. So hopefully, sorry about that. Hopefully that doesn't happen with the new pair. Um, range is really, really good. Um, so I could leave my phone down here and go all the way upstairs, go into rooms that are like even far away from this floor space or ceiling space, whatever. And um, they work great. Um, obviously that comes with a slight disadvantage. You can get too far away from your phone without knowing, but um, I don't like, they'll be in my pocket and there's obviously no problems with connection or anything like that. Um, there's super comfortable earbuds when they sit around my neck. Sometimes I forget that I, they're around my neck and I like feel here to make sure they're still there. Obviously when they're in your ears, you know they're in your ears, um, but they're really comfortable. Um, I've had no issues with fit. I've had no issues with them falling out while I'm riding my bike, running in the hallways, you know, stuff like that. They stay in really well. Sound quality, I think I mentioned this in my first video, sound quality is not superior. It's obviously not going to be like a pair of Sennheiser headphones. It's not like super high quality, and they don't even support app decks. For that, you have to get spend five more bucks to get the SoundBud Slim Plus. Um, but these sound great for my personal usage, and they have really great sound isolation. Um, so obviously, it's going to be hard for you to hear things outside, which is good for me because it allows the bass to really bump in there, and I can hear everything clearly, and I don't have to worry about outside noise coming in. The only disadvantage is I do have to pause my music completely or like take one earbud out to you know hear what other people are saying. But uh, otherwise the SoundBud Slim are great like I said in the other video and uh, if you are going to buy a pair of wireless earphones um, and you want them for the low these are definitely what I would recommend. They're waterproof, they sound great, super long battery life, relatively quick charging, super comfortable and they look great so I have no issues with the SoundBuds. Um, but other than that yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I did get a new pair of these. I wanted to update you guys on how I'm feeling about the sound buds. I like them. I like them to the point where I went through the process of getting them replaced. Um, so that speaks for itself. Other than that, uh, there's nothing much else that I need to tell you guys. Uh, essential phone videos will be coming soon. I will be doing a dedicated video on the camera, um, but I will also be doing a review uh, where I'll talk about the hardware and then the experience. I am running Android Pie on this. Um, so I'll talk about that too. Um, this is my first phone without a headphone jack, so I'm navigating the waters. I've only run into I've only run into needing to charge my phone and use earphones at the same time once, and that's because these were broken, and I had to use my wired earphones with the included adapter. That issue has only um, been encountered once. Hopefully, never again. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'll make a whole video on everything, and I'll update you guys on Twitter. Uh, so make sure you are following me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well for updates there. I don't post as much there. I post more on Twitter. But make sure to follow both just in case. Um, I hope you guys are having a great new year so far. I hope to fill the new year with plenty of good quality videos. Um, take suggestions. See what you guys want to see. Do some more gaming. Um, probably, for the most part, playing more Fortnite. Hopefully, I will get a Nintendo Switch as well so I can play some games up there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for uh, this video, guys. Just want to give you an update on the sound buds and my brand new phone. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, have a great day whenever you see this. Have a great day the next day. And uh, peace out.